you know, China uh, 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 needs to uh, establish uh, globally in the global mind, uh, explain its, its achievements um, and how well it's done. Um, it's not trying to persuade anyone else to be like it, like it but, it, but it, it, I think it is, while not offering a model to other, others, it does offer lessons. For example, reduction in poverty, extraordinary economic growth, handling the pandemic. I mean, you know, despite the disgraceful uh, arguments by the West to denigrate China from January 2019, the reality is that China has been absolutely brilliant in the way that it's handled the pandemic. And in that case, we can learn much in the West, around the world, uh, from China. You be like well, however you want to be. And this is how we're doing, and this is what we've done, and this maybe you can learn things from it. Maybe there's some things that are useful for you. That seems to me the correct Chinese approach. The level of sophistication to understand China, and also the level of patience for China to understand the other's misunderstanding about China has increased, hasn't it? I did think that at some point relations would become more difficult because uh, the Americans' uh, position on China was based on an illusion uh, that China would westernize and China could not uh, sustain its economic growth. And both of these proved to be mistaken. Basically, it starts with Trump's election uh, in uh, the end of 2016, and then the shift in the attitude of America towards China, rather than regarding it as a partner, seeing it as a threat. And then you got this um, uh, really uh, drastic retreat into a language which was belonged to the Cold War, really. Uh, and we were back to the most, you know, simplified and fundamentalist and backward looking view of China.